What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now the third and final Destiny stream has ended and now we have to wait until the 12th of April which is just around the corner for us to get our hands on with this new update. Now the third stream, albeit wasn't really exciting and revealing as the past two, but offered much more info on the sandbox and crucible changes which are really interesting. Now if you missed the stream I've got you covered and will bring you all you need to know from this stream over the course of a few videos. And we're going to start with changes to weapons in the form of buffs and nerfs. Now changes are coming to many weapons including exotics so let's just get straight into it. Starting with auto rifles, high rate of fire auto rifles will receive a nerf to damage while them slower rate of fire auto rifles will receive a damage buff. The reason for this is for there to be more of a variety of weapons within the architect of auto rifles that people can use. Moving on to pulse rifles and the only change here being uh, that to the lower rate of fire pulse rifles which will receive a base damage increase. Next up we have hand cannons which are going to receive a ammo capacity buff so you get plenty of extra ammo to use. Obviously though not in your clip in your inventory. Next up we have fusion rifles which have received a stability buff. Basically the spread of projectiles is reduced due to less kick given when firing the weapon. Next up we have sniper rifles. Now there are a few changes coming to snipers which in my opinion are needed. First up there will be changes made to three scopes and a change to zoom distance which will push the zoom out. Basically you'll see further. Now this is being done to make it more difficult to use them at closer ranges. The three scopes being affected by this change are the long view, the ambush and the short gaze. Basically the three close range scopes. They have also added two frames of zoom time when aiming from hip to full scope zoom. Snapshot also has been changed taking it from 30% increase to the zoom time down to 20%. Stability has also been reduced across the board on all snipers. This is to basically make it hard out to two shot kill. Now those were all changes mentioned on stream in terms of changes coming to weapon types. But with the update coming this week, there will be a way more in-depth look at all changes. So definitely check that out. But let's now move on to changes coming to exotics. And let's start with the mid and multi tool. Now there's only been one change to this weapon but the change won't really affect how the weapon feels and plays. What they are doing with this is removing high caliber rounds. All this will do is make it a lot less of a pain in the ass to be hit with this damn thing giving you a better fighting chance if you're fighting against somebody using a meter multi tool. The next exotic to talk about which will receive changes is the Suros Regime. This being a weapon in the assault rifle family it will receive that damage buff which is being applied to slower rate of fire auto rifles. But to address the point people could use this with the spinning nut perk that this thing has, the spinning nut perk now kicks in 4 bullets later than normal. Focus fire on the Suros Regime has received a buff and it's a buff to its range and if you pair that with the other range perks this thing has it will max out that range which seems crazy. But to be honest we did get a little peek of this being used on stream and it looked like an absolute monster. Like the good old Suros Regime from back 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 in the day which I can't wait for. Okay so next up we have the Hawk Moon which has received a range buff and that is it. Next up we have the Last Word which has received a nerf. The nerf has been applied when using that Last Word perk this weapon has and it's reduced to the extra damage this Last Word perk gives you. Everything else this perk gives you extra on the Last Word when shooting from the hip is unchanged. Next up we have the Fawn which has also received a nerf and it's mainly to the poison slash damage over time. The DOT has been reduced and so has the duration. Also less intensity of the poison screen when you are hit with this thing. From what I could make out when watching the music on stream there was 4 ticks instead of 6 and the damage was 2 per tick. Next up we have the icebreaker and they have addressed the issue where people were using the icebreaker to get special ammo on other weapons. If you now have the icebreaker, get the ammo, switch to a different weapon, you lose all your special ammo. And this change has also been applied to the sidearms that do the same thing. The weapon handling has come down a little and the zoom distance has gone out a little too. They made it clear that they want the icebreaker to be a long range weapon and that's what they're getting at with this nerf. 
Next up we have the Dreg's Promise, a projectile shot from this weapon, track based on ADS lock, which in my opinion is what this exotic weapon should have offered in the first place. This thing should track your ass around corners, but probably not that bad, but it still should track your ass. Moving on and we're going to talk about the Telesto and the changes to this thing are basically the projectile shot if landed on a teammate or a teammate's Ward of Dawn, they normally disappear, now they don't so basically you can spray a teammate with this thing's projectiles and use your teammate to charge at enemies to do damage which sounds absolutely epic and obviously guys it won't damage your teammates. Okay so next up although it ain't an exotic it may as fucking well be and it's the 1000 yards there. The change coming to this is less ammo in its infantry and that's basically it. Besides the nerf to all snipers I mentioned earlier, that's the only change to the 1000 yard stare. Next up we have the Quillum's Terminus and the Harold version. This like the 1000 yard stare will receive a nerf to ammo held in its infantry. While we're talking about a raid weapon I may as well mention they did mention the fact that there will be increased reload speed to all weapons available within the King's Fall raid. And last up the Anguish of Drysten which is also the King's Fall Auto Rifle, it will receive a small stability increase. But guys that is it until tomorrow with the weekly update when they give us a more in depth look at the changes that's all we have and that's all they mentioned on that stream. Guys I hope you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support, thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you on that next one. We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Just need gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.